Hey everybody, this is Miss Jackson Smith and I am really happy that you're here with us. This is second grade math and I'm so excited to do another video working on arrays today. For today's lesson, you're going to need a piece of paper and you need something to write with. It's okay if that's a marker or a crayon or just a pencil, any of those is fine. Um, so pause the video right now and go get everything you need. Alright, great, let's get started. Before we start working on arrays, I wanted to add in a couple of new things to this video. Um, so we're going to pretend that it's after lunch and it's that time when we work on our map skills. The first thing we're going to review today is multiplication and then we're going to do a little bit of addition. So I want to take a look at this quick chart. It should look familiar from when we worked on multiplication. You can go take a picture if you'd like. All right. So this chart says that multi multiplication basically is combining equal groups. And so when we're multiplying two numbers together, we call both of those numbers factors, and then the number that we get for the answer is called the product. The best thing to remember when we see this symbol is that it means groups of. So if I read this side to side, it says three groups of two is equal to six. We can visualize or picture in our minds when we're multiplying, we could make a picture of equal groups like this. So there's three groups with two in each group. Or we could think about repeated addition, so we're adding two three times. Or we could even think about an array. So each row is a group, so if it's three groups of two, that's the same as three rows of two, and we could count by twos like this. Two, four, six, and so we'd still get six. All right, so today when we're multiplying, we're just going to be practicing multiplying by zero and multiplying by one. Let me show you for a couple of problems, and then you're going to get to practice on your own. Here we go. So on this problem, it says three times zero or three groups of zero. Let me show you what happens when I try to draw three groups of zero. Okay, so I'm going to draw one group, another group, another group. But when I go to put objects in each group, this says three groups of zero, so there's actually nothing inside of there. So zero plus zero plus zero is just zero. So three times zero is zero. Let's try three times one. Same thing, three groups of one, so I'm gonna draw three groups. But this time, it says three groups of one, so what do you think goes inside of each group? You got it, it's one. So here we go, we've got one, one, and one. So one plus one plus one is three. So three times one is three. What I notice here is when we multiply by zero, any number, it's just going to end up being zero. But when we multiply by one, I notice that I got the same number. Let's see if that happens over here. This says one times four, so that's one group of four. So I'm going to make my one group, and I have one, two, three, four inside. Yep, it looks like that rule worked. One times four is four, three times one is one. So if we put the one as the first factor or as the second factor, it does the same thing it's going to make the other factor just stay the same. But when we're multiplying by zeros over here, let's see what happens. Zero groups of four. The thing here is if we've got zero groups, I can't even draw any groups. So that tells me that my total is going to be zero because we're adding nothing, right? All right, so when, I'm going to give you a second. I'd like you to pause the video and try and solve all of these on your own, okay? I'm going to trust that you're going to do that before I move on and show you the answers. All right. Okay, I'm going to trust that you went ahead and did those problems. And now I'm just going to quick show you what the answers are. I want you to give yourself a little smiley face or a check mark next to it if you got it right. And if you got a different number, I want you to go ahead and fix that. All right. So 7 times 0. I know that, that anything times 0 is just 0. So same thing over here. 0 times 9 is 0. 13 times 1. Ooh, that's tricky. I could draw it out, but I know anything times 1 just is itself. So 13 times 1 is 13. 1 times 5, same thing, is 5. 0 times 6 is 0. And 27 times 1 is 27. That big number didn't trick me at all. Um, 1 times 8 is 8. And 0 times 8 is zero. So go ahead and check those. Give yourself a smiley face. Give yourself a check mark, the ones that you got right. Um, and let's move on to some addition. All right, get ready because I need your big, loud, and proud voice. 
to sing this edition song with me. I know Miss Hawkinson helped you with edition last week, and so you should remember it, and this should be pretty fun and easy. Here we go. Add, add, add it up. Nine or less, let it rest. 10 or more, go next door. So in this first problem, when I look in my ones place, I've got six plus two. Six plus two is eight. That's nine or less, so it's just eight. Over here, I've got eight tens and one ten. That's nine tens. And then two hundreds plus five hundreds is seven hundreds. I never got a sneaky ten in there, so I did not need to regroup. I never needed to go next door. But let's look at what happens in this problem. I see I have a seven plus eight in the ones place. Seven plus eight is 15. That is 10 or more. And so in 15, there's a sneaky 10 there. There's 10, there's one 10, and then five ones. So I put that one 10 over here, and I put the five ones over here. And you can kind of put on your math detective glasses and see that 15 is kind of hiding there, just in a funny way. So when I look at my tens place, I'm adding five tens plus four tens, but I don't want to forget about that extra one 10 down here. Five plus four is nine, plus one more is 10. So that means I've got another sneaky 10. I need to move that over here and write it just like this. So now I've got three, um, three hundreds, four hundreds, plus one hundred. Three plus four is seven, plus one more is eight. So I've got eight hundreds. So 357 plus 448 is 805. All right, I've got three addition and subtraction problems that you're going to work on, but first we're going to sing our subtraction song. Here we go. All right, get ready. Take it away, take it away, take it away now. More on top, no need to stop. More on the floor, go next door, take one ten, that's ten ones more. All right, in my first problem, I always start in the what? In the ones place. So I've got six minus two, six minus two is four. Over here, I've got eight mi tens minus five tens. There's more on the floor, so, or more on the top, so there's no need to stop. Eight minus five is three tens. And we've got two hundreds minus one hundred. Again, we've got more on top, no need to stop. Two hundreds minus one hundred is just one hundred. So that was pretty easy. Two hundred and eighty six minus one hundred and fifty two is one hundred and thirty four. I did not need to regroup. But over here, it looks like I needed to do something different. Let's take a look. Over here in the ones place, I've got one minus seven. One minus seven means that there's more on the floor. I can't take away seven ones if I only have one one. So I'm gonna go need, need to go decompose in the tens place. But guess what? We don't have any tens in the tens place, so we have to go all the way over to the hundreds place. In the hundreds place, we started with four hundreds. So I unbundled one of those hundreds and turned it into three hundreds and ten tens. Then it turns out now I do have enough tens, because remember I was starting in the ones place and I didn't have enough. So over here in the tens place, I unbundle one of those tens, and I now I have nine tens, and I put ten more ones over in the ones place. Just like more on the floor, go next door, take one ten, that's ten ones more. So I had one one, and now I have ten more ones, so one plus ten is eleven. So now I'm all set to subtract. I've got more on the top in every single place value. So here we go. Eleven minus seven is four. Nine tens minus three tens is six tens, and three hundreds minus two hundreds is one hundred. So go ahead and check that work, and then let's get started with a couple of addition and subtraction problems. Go ahead and pause that, and then when you're ready, I'm going to move on.